Hey everyone, um, I'm going to do a review on the some of the LA Splash, the Lip Couture. I've got three colors here. These are actually the only ones I've had, but I've had them for about uh, maybe two months now. And um, I initially wanted to get them earlier, but I do live in Japan and they're a little bit just slightly more pricey to get here. But in uh, America, the Lip Couture are $14 USD. And so they're a good alternative to some of the other uh, cream to matte lippies like um, Lime Crime and uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, some of those, which are really great by the way. But if you want a cheaper option that definitely stays on all day, these are a good, a good one. I'll get more into that later. So first, the colors that I have. I have um, right here, this is Latte Confession. This is a big one. A lot of people say this is a good dupe for um, Lime Crimes Riot. And this one is Rose Garden. And the last one here is Till Midnight. So it's a good range. This one's more of a kind of a, a darker reddish neutral. This one's definitely more of a blue toned pink. And this one is an orangey red. So um, definitely all these are not too out there. Um, LA Splash does have some really crazy awesome colors. Um, but these are some good neutrals. So as I said, I'm going to try them on, do a little demo, and um, show you guys what they look like. Okay. Now with these, I, I do find that um, a thinner layer is best. If you keep piling it on, it does get a little bit crusty. So just keep that in mind when you apply. I have used lip liners with these in the past and they are great with that. Um, but right now I'm just going to use the the, um, the applicator that comes with it here, which is like a doe foot applicator. Um, it's not really focusing very well, but you can kind of get the idea. It's a pretty standard applicator for most of the cream de mattes. So it's not perfect, but um, just for the purposes of this video, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, so I'll kind of show you up close what it looks like. This is a nice um, orangey red. I think this would actually work on um, all skin tones. I'm pretty pale. I've got some slightly yellow undertones, um, but overall I'm a pretty, pretty white girl. And um, I think um, this color is really flattering. Um, so there's that one. And next, um, one thing about removing these, they are not easy to remove. Um, there's a plus side and a downside to that. Uh, the good side is that, one, they don't come off super easily. Um, once they dry completely, oh, that one's not totally dry. It takes about maybe, I don't know, less than five minutes to dry. It depends on how thick you put it on. But again, I wouldn't recommend putting a heavy layer of this on because it is, um, it will get kind of cakey. So once they totally dry, yeah, there's no transfer of them. Um, and they do settle into the fine lines of your lips. So if you do have, I've got somewhat dry skin, but I find that if I exfoliate my lips often, then these aren't bad. They don't particularly dry out my lips anymore, but if you do have a problem with dry, cracked skin, then they might accentuate that. It's just sort of the nature of these types of lipsticks. The Lime Crime ones are like it too, um, but I do actually quite, I still like the formula of these a lot, and they do stay on through meals and snacking and things like that. So anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm going to try next. Oh, by the way, this is Till Midnight. Um, the one that I talked about before. So that's the reddish orange one, obviously. Um, the next one I'm going to try is I'll try the Rose Garden, which is the blue toned pink color. Okay. And by the way, what I'm using to, um, take this off is, a. Uh, it's sold here in Japan. I think it's actually kind of a, <clears throat> a product that's a little bit of a cult favorite in the U.S. too. Um, but this is the DHT Deep Cleansing Oil. Um, sometimes I also use my go-to makeup remover, which is uh, Lush's Ultra Bland. Both of these are oil-based removers, which you definitely need to take off this makeup. And honestly, no matter what your skin type, I would recommend you use oil-based removers to take off any makeup. 
Um, they're just, they tend to be a little bit better and less harsh on your skin than some soap based products. So anyway, I'm just going to, um, I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just going to use a little bit of a concealer to prime my lips a little bit. Um, hopefully they won't be, uh, in too bad a shape after <laughs> putting on removing all these lipsticks in this video, but should be okay, I think. All right. And the next one is... Rose Garden. Okay, good enough on that one. So this one is, um, as I said, more of a, um, a blue toned pink. Um, it, it comes off in this lighting. It's a little hard to to see, um, but it definitely comes off as more of a not purple, but it's not that far from it kind of a, um, definitely like a, not warm. Um, so this could be kind of tricky on different skin tones. Again, I think if you have darker skin, this would look way better on you than maybe it does on me. Um, I, I really like it. Sometimes the blue tones, I love the colors of them, but, um, sometimes it depends on the season they clash my skin tone a little bit especially if I'm really pale like in the winter um but I don't really care I, I really love the colors so I'll just wear them anyway so I'm not really a fan of the whole uh what's flattering for your skin is the only thing you should wear because I think it's really just about your own taste um so if you like it wear it who cares just for comparison you can sort of see it looks like that so this is a very orangey red and this is the rose garden. Yeah. So it's um it's definitely more uh bluish. Anyway. Um I will say real quick before I do the last one um that reapplying this is not great. It will last most of the day through meals, through snacking. Sometimes you eat something really oily, um, then it might not stay on awesome, but there, it won't go away completely. It's definitely a long wearing matte, uh, lipstick and it does dry totally matte. This one I put on a little thinner, so it's, it's completely transfer proof. Um, but if you do try and reapply it, I have found, especially on the inner parts of your lips, it does get quite cakey. So really, if you want to reapply, you kind of just have to take it off and start all over. Okay, real quick, I'm going to do the last one. Okay, so that's good enough. Pray for my face. <laughs> it's a lot of removing. Okay, and the last one I'm going to do is, this one has a big... Um, it's kind of a, I don't know if I'd classify it as a cult favorite, but it's definitely all over the internet. Everyone loves it because it's a very, um, nice neutral that really everybody loves. And again, everyone sort of said it's the, uh, dupe for Lime Crimes, uh, Riot, which, um, I haven't used Riot, but I have seen it. And I have seen comparison swatches, and yeah, it seems like it's pretty close. A lot of people say the formula of the the LA Splash is better, which um, I actually do agree with that. So, on to the last one. Okay, again, not perfect, but we're just gonna deal with it. So, um, as I said, I'm pretty pale. It kind of comes off as a very um, red based, uh, neutral sort of tone on me. Oh, uh, that's, doesn't really help you. I need a bright flush. I'm like, I've got to get some better lighting. Um, but just to give you an idea, it's just sort of, a a nice neutral tone. I, I love, this is actually my favorite, um, lipstick that I own out of everything that I have. Um, and the reason is because I think the color sort of works with, um, any bit of makeup that you're wearing, any, any different eyeshadow. Um, right now I'm, uh, wearing not as light as it could be. I'm, I've got some product on my eyes. Um, but yesterday I wore this lipstick and I was just wearing some eyeliner and just had my eyebrows done basically. And it, it just looks great with that, with a nude face or with a fully done eye. It's, um, both of them look really great. So this one is 
fantastic. This is a great lipstick. It's amazing. Um, one note about the comparison between these formulas and the Lime Crime, uh, the Velveteens. Um, I do, the only Velveteen I own is the uh, Red Velvet. And I do like it quite a bit, but what I do notice about Red Velvet, I don't know if it's just me, but um, right on the inside, not not the actual inside of your mouth, but right on the outer corner here, it does tend to flake off really easily. Um, these have more staying power and they're cheaper. Uh, these have a little bit more, I'm not bothered by smell. I think, I think, I think some people, they, they definitely have more of a chemically smell. They're good formulas. And, and if you are looking for a cream de mat, I would definitely say pick these up because they are well-priced. They come in a vast arrangement of colors. Um, some of them, the Smitten Lip Tints, which have a very similar formula to this, um, which I'd like to pick up when I'm in the States for Christmas, have colors that are all named after Harry Potter characters, which, yeah, I'm a nerd, so I like it. Um, and they have colors like blue and green and some really vivid colors. Anyway, that's all I have to say for these. I'll put the link in description down in the bottom for you to check out. And uh, please comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.